Hey there, Hyaniacs. Um, as you guys may notice right now, I'm not on my regular programming, um, and I'm sorry for that, and I know I didn't upload anything uh, yesterday. Um, let me just, you know, cover a few things and, you know, just kind of explain some of my situation that's been happening lately, because if, if uh, some of you remember, you know, a few episodes ago I had talked about how you know, I might be having a job change, and, you know, I had an interview. Well, okay, so the other day, the other morning, I should say, I had the interview. Went really good. Um, and then, you know, after I get gotten back home, I got a call for another interview at a different place. And, you know, it's just kind of created my own, um, my own mental confliction at this point because uh, let's see see and change your current equipment items anyways so I've just been kind of having this mental flux lately because the first job I had inter interviewed for the one that I had talked about you know I would honestly have to run it as like a second job if I end up getting that, but, um, you know, it would only be like 20, 25 hours a week, which, you know, I can most likely swing, but there's no real set schedule for it, like, my days would be completely random, and they would basically be all day shifts, so I wouldn't be able to keep up, you know, my current consistency with everything that I have right now as compared to uh, the other job full-time hours I mean I'd be averaging about 45 to 50 hours a week plus it's much higher pay and it's a set schedule which would run me from morning to afternoon which means even after I get off of work I can come home record and keep up with you know all of this and then, you know, it's just kind of created its own mental storm for me. And then, you know, just earlier today, this morning, I woke up and I was just feeling like crap. So I pretty much just kind of slept all day. Kind of regretted because, you know, now I'm in this mental whatever of my sleep pattern being thrown off and all this crap. And the reason why I didn't upload everything yesterday is because... You know, I had that second interview, ran around, did a bunch of errands, and by the time I had gotten home, set up to record, you know, I was doing Dark Souls, and it just ended up going into an even more hectic um, frenzy than the episode beforehand, where I died a bunch, but at least in that previous episode, I did end up, uh, Fucking, you know, I had made some progress off of it. As to where yesterday when I was doing Dark Souls, it was, I died, made absolutely no progress at all. Oh, shit. And, you know, I just, I just couldn't keep going with it. It was like half an hour of just getting slaughtered. However, there are some clips and, you know, some bits from it that I can throw into the next time I record because... You know, there was some things that I accomplished. Not a whole hell of a lot. Like, probably the biggest one was a, um, a giant that I'd killed. So I will be putting that in there. But, you know, the biggest, you know, reason I'm just kind of rambling right now is just so everyone kind of understands what's been going on. And I am sorry that, you know, I've just been too high up on anxiety to keep, um, Is this over here? Anyways, so you know, I'm just kind of letting you guys know what's been my mental kind of process lately, and you know, again, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for it, you know, but life is life sometimes, and we all get wrapped up in it, you know, but. That's why I'm making this right now is just to kind of explain to you guys everything that's been going on and say, you know, 
I will keep moving forward that we will get back on track with everything. It's just kind of... It's just a matter of getting everything figured out and put in order at this point. Especially because, you know, there was something that I gotten in the mail today that kind of, you know, perked me up a bit. You know, it was a letter from Google just basically confirming Rancid Hyenas Gaming as an official business. Um, so it's it basically just kind of works as a patent. Um, knowing that I actually hold the rights to the thing that I had created. Um, you know, to me, that that's pretty awesome. And, of course, you know, I got the video coming up this weekend where I'm going to be doing another shout out but this time it's for streamers and you know basically what that means is you know because I do have a twitch account and I use it really to help um, help support some people on there and you know I, I watch them in, in their streams and stuff so it's just kind of giving a shout out to them and you know hopefully it'll help them out in the long run in case you know in case anyone watching just wants to check out Twitch and see how it works, um, you know, one thing I will say about Twitch entirely, and you guys can take this as a total uh, grain of salt, but the thing about Twitch is, you know, when they're streaming, there is a chat, and uh, you know, each you know, each person is going to have kind of their own set of rules for it and all that. But where, what kind of comes in, into play, in my opinion, is uh, the mods. You know, the moderators and all that stuff. Because, you know, they are people, so they are capable of flaws and all that stuff. And I'm not saying this towards every single mod out there. I have seen some good ones that, you know that are pretty fair and they make sure they hold the same standards for everyone you know themselves included <clears throat> but I have seen some situations where a mod will uh, mute a person for a bit or you know because you know sometimes yeah people step over the line <clears throat> they say something inappropriate that they shouldn't so it's like, you know, I understand hurting everyone to a standard and making sure that, you know, it's not just whatever. But, you know, I've seen mods, you know, mute people for it, and then either they or other mods will continue being just as offensive or inappropriate, or sometimes even more so than the person that they had, uh muted or whatever. So, I mean, you know, just take that with a grain of salt. Keep an eye out for it. If you're gonna, you know, go watch someone stream, you know, I'm not saying don't interact with them or whatever, but I would say, again, take it as a grain of salt and just kind of be careful of what you say, you know. Just don't incriminate yourself. Don't put yourself in a situation where, you know, it'll backfire on you is kind of the message here. Oh, he must be upstairs. Oh, there he is. You're out of here. And yeah, as you guys can see in this game, I'm kind of just playing defense at this point because I'm not as huge, or as used to Conquest on here. I'm sorry, I'm still totally out of it and I feel like crap, so my uh, speech impediment is even higher than it usually, usually is. But yeah, I just... Uh, I've been running a slight fever today, so... Just trying to take it easy, play something that's a little bit more low-key. Usually I'd just be in regular team deathmatch right now, but... I figured I'd try, you know, a higher step. Let's see. Somebody's here. What are you shooting at, dumbass? Get out of the way. Oh 
but yeah, so I think this is actually going to be all I'm going to upload and do today. Um, I'm going to keep playing, just relax, try to get myself to feel better and all that stuff, so again, I'm sorry to everyone that, you know, my progress is sort of delayed that I'm not, you know, being as consistent as I'd like to the last couple days, but hopefully tomorrow, if I'm feeling better, we'll get back on it. Um, again, I still have stuff that I'm going to do with the channel over the weekend, um, especially when it comes to the Resident Evil and the Brutal Legend videos. You know, those are, I'd like to keep those as kind of my weekend gig. And hopefully either tomorrow or Monday we'll get back on track with Borderlands and Dark Souls. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stop ranting right now. Feeling lightheaded as shit. But uh, I love you my hyenaics and I'll see you guys later.